Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm, I have really exciting news. We're going to talk about how you get custom crosshair reticles, just like this one. And I've been messing with these settings for quite a bit already and I really, really enjoy them. So how you do this is you go to settings, you scroll all the way down, and you click on reticle here and you click customize. When you click default, you'll see that you have the little default color. And I have various sites so you can see what they look like. But realistically, when you have the default, sometimes the red can get lost because what if a target is red, such as the target dummy that you're looking at here? While it does really look clean in this color palette, you have this option. This is where a lot of pros were going into the accessibility feature and turning on colorblind mode where you can actually see a different color. Even here, this is better to see, but it doesn't really resonate even where my eyes can pick up on that. And it even changes the colors here. So the solution, this is an added level of accessibility and I love this. This is probably one of the, my more favorite features that have been introduced into the game that many games actually don't really have this and I, I love this so much so really what you do when you hit, click customize you already have a nice color palette to choose from on the far right you have the various colors so we have yellow as a nice uh, recommended blue which also pops I'm pr personally probably going to go with a hot pink just because nothing else in the game is relatively this color this one is also a great recommendation as well and of course you can go back to the default and reset everything now how this works is you can go from the slider and choose from the full array of colors here. Now what you can do with, let's say I were to sell on green, you can change this green color by hovering over the color at the bottom here. And I apologize if you hear a noise in the background as I'm recording, I think there's a helicopter flying over. It's a very weird timing. So let's say you were to click on this color here, right? And you were to go right, right, right. You can see whether or not this disappears in the background. You can see in the grassy part that it really disappears. And I love the fact that they have different backgrounds here for you to really choose from to really help you solidify what color is going to be best for your eyes visually. And maybe for me, this may not be the right color, but maybe for you, this might fit. So whenever you go, let's say I need something to pop a bit more. Let's go more for a blue and let's kind of change it. You can go for a purple and try to get that color to pop more. And if it doesn't, you'll notice that blue is pretty strong across the board here. The only parts it really is weak against is possibly here. It works well against the uh, the grassy part and possibly gets lost in kind of indoors. In a second, there's also another section in the bottom right where you can put your own RGB colors. I'm going to showcase how you can do that. Let's say you have your favorite color that you want to use as a reticle and see what it looks like in game specifically. But I think I'm probably going to run with more of a hot pink. I don't know how light, I think it gets lost in the lava. So I'm gonna have to kind of mess around and see what their default is. It gets lost in the lava. So I'm gonna have to play around with this myself and figure out which one. I just need to make sure it doesn't get lost in the lava somehow and how I can get it to be a little brighter or darker to really pop. And probably go with a really light version like that. Some, wow, that looks actually pretty good for the most part outside of the inside. So it's just finding a balance. And then if you find a balance and you can mess with this. Now let's talk about how you get your own custom color. Let's do that next. Okay, so what I've done here is I found this website just by simply Googling where you can turn a hex color into a nice RGB color. If you have a hex color, for example, so if you were to put in a code number and you want to convert it and then boom, you have your hex color that you can drag from. There's some basics here. I'm going to put this link down in the description down below of how you can find your hex color turn into RGB. So essentially you go from this screen and you go in game and you put those colors in there. So you have your red and then you have your green and then your blue. So let's say you put 52, 132, 19. So 52, and I'm forgetting the next number. And the beauty of this is, you know, you gotta really change it here. One second, 52, doesn't wanna change. And this is why we're doing it live, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And I'm gonna tap back, what was the next number? 32 and 119. So 132, 132 and 119 is probably better if you highlight everything there you go and then boom hit apply and now it is in game there you go so we have that hex color and everything is nice and pretty there for you now what you can do as well is you can get a color if you bring up paint i know it's a bit archaic there's definitely other ways to do this but i'm just giving examples of how you do it let's say i wanted to grab the color of watson right let's see here let's pull up that color and then you find the edit here when you go to edit colors you'll see it's 127 188 and 209 so 127 127 108 and then the last one was 209 okay 209 perfect so we hit apply and there we go did i get the right one? Oh, it didn't apply the last one 209 let's fix that 209 and then what was this 188 oh i did the hue that's why see this is why we do these things 127 and you guys can 
correct me for being not so intelligent. And there we go. And you can see the color right there and then it picks it up. So that's where I picked up that color. And again, the thing that Apex did tweet out is that they also kind of rounded some of the colors a little bit. It was in the patch notes to make sure that they do pop visually. Now this one does look like it pops. It gets lost a bit indoors in a few other areas, but it really pops everywhere else. So this is like a Watson color for you guys to utilize. But I really wanted to put together this guide. I don't want you guys to miss this feature. It was at the bottom of the patch notes and it's one that is just so good. So get out there, change your crosshair colors, have the accessibility feature that, that, that I'm just so, I'm just so happy about this feature. Real quick, I wanted to showcase what the crosshairs look like when they're in game. I apologize for that. I realized as I was recording, I was like, wait a minute. I want to showcase what it looks like. So when you hover, you see how I pulled that Watson color before? Let's just go to customize real quick. I want to bring that hot pink color. And there you go. Look at that hot pink color and how it looks. So I suggest you really come in game and take a look at that color from different reticles and constantly check what is going to pop more visually for you and keep changing them. Keep adjusting them until it really hits that sweet spot for you in game. So if I go there, there we go. I think that works a little bit better for me. And again, sorry about the little tack on here at the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.